XAML is created by Microsoft, and the development effort started back in 2001. At that time, HTML and CSS were not really mature enough to be used as the basis for this new UI design language. So Microsoft went off on their own, created XAML, first appeared in 2006 with WPF, and over the next few years, we got variants on the same idea. The Xamarin Forms version of XAML actually conforms to the Microsoft XAML 2009 specification, and it even implements a few things that Microsoft put in the spec, but hasn't yet included in their own version of XAML. If you've been working with the Microsoft XAML for a while, uh, this should look pretty familiar. On the left, I have an example of Microsoft XAML, and on the right, the Xamarin Forms equivalent. So the structure is basically the same. A lot of the concepts will be similar. Uh, the names of the classes and the properties, though, will be different. So just two, two quick examples. Layout containers, on the left we have stack panel. On the right it's called stack layout. Similar differences for controls. In the Microsoft space we have text box and password box. And on the right we have just an entry control that has an is password property. So that gets used for both use cases. So Xamarin Forms XAML has a lot of the features that you're used to from, from the Microsoft space. So we do have data binding. It's not quite a complete implementation yet, but it is getting more features all the time. We have value converters to go along with data binding. Uh, we have data templates to display collections. We even let you do custom markup extensions, resources, styles, triggers, even custom XAML behaviors. We don't have a direct analog to control templates. What we have instead is something called a custom renderer that lets you take control and describe exactly how each control should look on every one of the different platforms that you want to support. In the graphics space, we have only something called box view right now, which is similar to rectangle. So we don't have the full stack of rectangle, uh, ellipse, path, and so on. If you need that behavior, you can simulate it using uh, custom renders. We do have render transforms, um, not layout transforms like WPF. And finally, we do have animations, although at this point, they are code only. So in general, if you're familiar with the Microsoft XAML stack, a lot of the core concepts will transfer over directly. You will need to spend some time studying up on the details because the class names, the proper names, and so on will definitely have changed.